Authorities are warning that this will be a major disaster. And advised to evacuate. Check every five minutes. Like. First cat four in 56 years. Holy shit. That's not good. Harvey is really beginning to sink its teeth into this part of Texas. Morning to you. If you are struggling to get out of bed this morning, it's going to be picture perfect. West Side looking absolutely beautiful this morning. I mean, what a beautiful sunrise. Wake up to check it out. <laughs> Here we are. National Hot Dog Day. Eating some hot dogs outside. My wife and I, we've lived in this house here on Lexington Street for about 10 years. We house seven kids, and so we've had to get creative with how we use this house. I get the honor of being a worship pastor at a church. Music has always been a big part of my life, but how music connects to faith, I think is a big deal, and so, if you can kind of put those two things together, I think that it's an opportunity to be able to kind of speak a language that everybody can understand. We're seeing a small hint of the tropics tonight. The systems brewing in the Atlantic are getting a little more powerful. Had to come show some pond love. You got it? Yeah, you did. Pull it. Hey, you caught a first fish. How's it feel? Second fish. <laughs> Second fish. First fish today. We're right on the coast, and so a lot of my life is spent on the water, in nature. Got one we just landed, another one. I lost my mom a couple years ago, so when I'm on the water, a communication line opens up between me and her. It gets hard because in time that you achieve something, sometimes you feel like they're not there to experience it with you. And uh, I really, really miss her. We're making out to be a much stronger storm than before, with rapid intensification. I don't know, that's why I ask. I'm talking about the trap. We used to go there at a party. Well, I won't be partying, you know me. I know. And we outie. For those of you that don't know, we're moving. Oops, I'm sorry. In the car, about to go to Houston. I recently just started a new job as a digital media correspondent. Don't mind my air freshener, by the way. It smells like a really good looking guy. So if you want your car to smell like a boyfriend that you don't have, like me, then you should get this one. Mayor Joe McComb has decided not to order mandatory evacuation. Good night from our new home, Harper. Uh, Mel lost a tree. Storm 2017 Harvey update. Lexington Street's power is already out. A hurricane? You know that's coming. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. But wait. Oh my goodness, you guys. I feel like I am ready and prepared the best I can be for not knowing what's coming. I honestly wish, like, you know, I had like a boyfriend or a husband or even a roommate or someone to go through this with, but at least I have Harper. One awesome a tornado warning has been issued for our area. Picking up my son right now. If it wasn't for the Weather Channel, you wouldn't even know. What up, dude? Hi. <laughs> Love you. Love you <laughs> A lot of our neighbors took off and evacuated, and like we've done in the past, and I kind of like doing that. Kids are terrified, obviously. 
but just financially place to go wise all those things were not like super simple so they're just gonna wait this one out I think it'll probably be I think we'll be fine Dude, those guys rolled you down Landfall is eminent. The first Cat 4 in 56 years. Hurricane Harvey has just made landfall on the Texas coast. Harvey is really beginning to sink its teeth into this part of Texas. Everyone has been advised to evacuate. This full punch is still coming. We're watching this Mayweather and McGregor fight. My wife bursts into the room and says, we got to go now. What? Then I walk downstairs and I open the front door and it was just pouring. Super freaking windy. Look at Kobe. Look. It became apparent like we just didn't know how serious this was going to be. Water still going up. So we're definitely getting water and, um, you know, we decided to stay, and I think it was the right choice at the time, but um, we're gonna have some decisions to make here in the next little bit about what we're gonna do. I'm in a closet because I'm seriously like so scared, like I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> I've never been in a situation like this away from like other people. It's just indescribable how loud it is. I know that there are people that were like, it's not gonna be that bad, you don't need to worry about it. Well, look at us now. city is literally underwater right now. We got a few boats, so we got extra space. What we're dealing with here, that's the head of this convoy up here. The first thought was to get out and help people who needed it. Really miss my mom. She taught me a lot about compassion because she was the most compassionate woman that I've ever met in my life. So when I see others who need help like that, I get out there and do it without asking questions. We're gonna go past this truck and dock on that far side. Get the rope ready to okay. tie off. All right, stop it, Brent. All right, kill it. Alright, I hear the dogs. You okay? Come on, are you okay? It's okay. It's okay. We were just trying to do what we thought was right. That one was tough. This one is fun. This thing? Have to hold it. He, he's very scared. Alright, I'm coming. We got the two German Shepherds. We got a cat. There's one cat. Catastrophes happen, and um, they're always a good reminder of what's important. We're all pretty safe. I think we're good. Now we just got to get through this really bad current. Just get across the creek, and it'll be a safe mission. Yeah. All right, guys. This is dangerous. Got to go, guys. All right, guys. Good morning. As I thought, there is a whole bunch of flooding that happened this morning because last night was crazy. And I'm not even gonna lie, it was really scary. She's scared. Come on, you need to go potty, it's okay, come on. I had never talked to my neighbors before, but during that time, you know, we would kind of like check up on each other. Before the hurricane, I definitely had the mindset of just being super independent and living on my own and being in a big city by myself. But I think afterwards, I feel like it definitely brought me closer to people in my area. It kind of makes you appreciate everything more. We're all kind of connected.
water's coming through the front door. We're hoping that it's just 12 to 16 more, 12 to 15 more inches, it won't get to the roof. So we'll see. Uh, Glenn and I spent about the last three hours moving as much stuff as we could upstairs. Um, I got soaked to the bone just trying to keep the water from coming in the back door. Sorry, Mom, we couldn't get the piano up. You know, it just kind of hit me that this is going to be, this is going to be hard. All the stuff we used to do, just like the everyday display on the street. I guess I just got to believe that it's going to be something better. It's going to be something different. And we'll just have to figure out what that is going to be in time. Please donate to the Hurricane Harvey Relief. There's a lot of damage and it's gonna be a long process for people to rebuild their homes and businesses and things like that. If you can donate, donate. There's no amount that's too small. When I was, you know, kind of just praying out loud that I was like, Mom, please give me a big fish today and let me know that you're, you're watching. And <laughs> this, I mean, just so you can see, this is a, a clunker, man. If faith is the evidence of things that you can't see, it's hard to look past what I can see. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll see what's next. <laughs>